bass start. <laughs> fast, so I hope you like it. This song is about getting robbed. We've got two more. I think Jeremy's going to play right after us, so please. My name's Katie. Okay, guys. Um, this is a band is called Bulk Smice, and we're gonna sing some songs for you to hear down here at Curly's Basement. Thanks for having us. Really excited for this wonderful, awesome, rocking show. Uh, a lot of great acts, a lot of good talent in the b building tonight. Let some cookies and let's give it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. oh, it's good. It's good right so, Steak and Cake Records is a digital-only label um, that started in 2011. And since then, I think we're approaching 100 releases. So for the five year, I think we're going to be in that range. Um, the purpose of the label is basically to engage with uh, community musicians who don't really have the funds to do big time studio work. Misery, misery, misery. Hello. Hey, hello, misery. Yeah, that sounds pretty cool. In 2010, I moved back to Buffalo, the city, and I got the job at the liquor store. And it didn't start right away. Um, I was working there for, I think, a year or two. Saw that the basement was wide open, and I had this need for a practice space, and I went to management there and said, you know, you, you guys don't use it, and it's a commercial space, so after hours, you know, no one's around to complain. Would it be possible for me to sort of move my operation in there? Because I need a home for it, and, uh, and it seems like this one's available. Is that okay? And they were willing to... Um, grant me access to the space. For like three years we were at the liquor store and I would record from 10 p.m. until um, we opened at 9 a.m. the next day. I had that range of time to do it. So when bands wanted to come in and record it was always a late night thing. It kind of added this um, special element to it. You'd be working at 2.30, 3 a.m. and kind of cranking it all out and you're in a space that's sort of strange because you're underneath a liquor store, you know? The goal is total satisfaction with big social interaction Winning friends and gaining traction So you're talking so fast So you are trying so hard And you are feeling The name Curly's comes from uh, my grandmother who was named Margaret but had curly hair and, You know, when you're a kid you make up a nickname And it, it stuck with her for the time that, that she was here in life And she had a really big impact on uh, me and what I consider to be important. Family is a big thing for me, so having the name and having the space and having the control to kind of take it seriously is um, what I'm most proud of for Curly's. The idea for the space is something that I, I've wished for for a long time and with the liquor store I knew that I had a, a space to play and record but I knew that I would always have to rely on other people to book the actual performances. Thankfully in Buffalo there's a huge basement community so there's not, it's not much of a stretch to find a place but I also had envisioned exactly what I wanted it to be which was something that would something that took itself as seriously as a venue but wasn't as uh, exclusive as a venue so there, there was a little more accessibility uh, and freedom to do what you want. The thing I'm most excited about, the thing that I'm proud of, and the thing that um, keeps me interested is finding the person that wouldn't have taken that step on their own, and uh, me being able to help them facilitate that into being something real. Don't be lazy. 